do you wear a poppy, Beth? My friend asked. I'd like to know. You are too young to remember the wars from long ago. I smiled the biggest smile, as big as big can be, to show just what my poppy really means to me. My name is Bethany Molyneux and I am 11 years old. I live with my mum and I live with my three brothers, Jamie, Aaron and Charlie. My dad's name was Ian Thomas Molyneux and he worked as an engineer. He was on his submarine and there was an incident and he got shot and he died. I was six years old. I decided to write my poem because my friend came up to me and asked what the poppy was and she also asked why I was wearing it. So I decided to include her question in my poem to start it off. As I began to tell her, I stood all nice and tall. I remembered what my daddy said when I was very small. You see, my daddy was a sailor. He sailed beneath the sea. And when he was on his submarine, he was as happy as can be. I wanted to follow in his footsteps. Stand up, hey. I joined Sea Cadets when I was 10, and it is really fun. When I wear my Sea Cadets uniform, I feel like I belong there, and I feel quite proud to be wearing it. They renamed the Sea Cadet unit T.S. Molyneux in memory of my dad. When I walk into the Royal Albert Hall and I have my brothers Jamie and Aaron by my side, I think I'll feel very proud and very excited but also quite nervous. My daddy used to tell me, Bethy, wear your poppy with pride. It's to send love to our forces and remember those that died. Never walk alone. You 
I wear my poppy so proudly on my chest. It's there to show our forces really are the best. It's to remember all those people who gave their lives for our today. And for my brave daddy, my hero, who in my heart will always stay. My friend listened to my story and then quietly said, I'd like to get a poppy to pin onto my chest so I too can wear it proudly for all the world to see. So I too will always remember the reason I am free. Ladies and gentlemen, let's just underline that was C. Cadet Beth who delivered this year's festival citation in her own words, accompanied by brothers Aaron and Jamie who carried the torch of remembrance and of course our great thanks to Michael Ball and Alfie Bow for that powerful reminder that you'll never walk alone. Thank you very much. <laughs>